five. Just 29. When he wanted to have a very easy position on the red, a slightly shorter pace. That was the wry smile because he knows this is tough. Tougher than it might have been. But the fact that he 30. is smiling to himself when he does run slightly out of position means that although he's very, very tense out there, he's relaxed enough to be enjoying what he's doing. Once again, 35. a little smile this time, but uh, there's no way you can pull the pot out. Just a safety shot. Sullivan playing his uh, boyhood hero, as it were, at snooker. Always followed Steve Davis, as many, many other youngsters did. And that in itself might be putting added pressure on him. and uh, he doesn't want to look at the moment and I think eventually when he does look he'll probably find the cue ball in behind the brown if he could nestle onto a red it was a very very difficult situation and he just uh, played to get out of the snooker and hoped for the best One. Well, that's a useful little nudge as well. Yes, yeah, Steve's had uh, a very good run of the balls in the last couple of frames, but the way he has played here, he certainly deserves it. Six. Seven. The Brown would put him 54 in front. So he would only need another red to leave Ronnie wanting a snooker. But he's not ideally placed on the Brown just to pot it and leave the red on that's next to the green. Thank you. 
11. Yeah. Just this red for. Well, a marvellous victory. And Ray, it's very, very difficult to describe how a player feels inside when he's at this stage in a major tournament. Eleven, Steve Davis. Well, he's potted some marvellous work under pressure. thought was in his head but he's got another chance here not quite as simple as the other one but uh, well he's really settled himself down this time he's had a long sip of water there steadies himself I wonder what he's thinking this is the one. <laughs> one. So Steve Davis is here. A very hard time. Six. To produce his best over the last two years produced it at the right time on his home patch in London. Seven. Maybe one of the most promising players and most natural gifted players that we've ever seen. And we've seen a final which uh, has been magnificent from start to finish. Thirteen. And Steve Davis is going to take home with Jacob. £135,000 plus £15,000. A mighty, mighty word from the crowd. They're on the feet to applaud this credit to the game. One of the best ambassadors we've ever had. And I assure you that there's no man more pleased in the world than Steve Davis and his father, Dorothy. What a wonderful, wonderful finish. Steve Davis takes the 1997 Benson Hedges Masters title by 10 frames to 8. For Ronnie, for Ronnie a cheque for £70,000 and a magnum of champagne. For the winner, a cheque for £135,000. A Jeroboam of champagne, this magnificent trophy. The 1997 Benson Hedges Master, Steve Davis.